everybody. How are y'all doing? Are you nervous? No. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Parents, uh, uh, this is a, this is a big big deal. This is a big day. It's been a it's been a weird year, and I'd like to thank all of you for enduring with us uh, through through all the ups and downs. Um, Betsy Sherwood, our preschool director, and Natalie Foster, they, they said somewhere in here that in a normal year, there's one really hard week with all the first days, but this year, it was like five weeks worth of first days, and uh, uh, it's been hard for them, it's been hard on our teachers, and I know it's been hard on all of you, so thank you for, thank you for sticking with First Presbyterian Church's preschool. Our intention is that uh, this preschool always be is always a place where your children are loved and valued, where they not only learn uh, important things to learn in kindergarten, but they learn that they are loved and valued. Um, I, I want you to know that uh, First Presbyterian Church is not only a great place to bring your kids to preschool and kindergarten, it's also a great place to, to worship God. And if you don't have a church already, um, please do join us especially for these virtual worship services. The, the Christmas Eve virtual service will be on our website, and it'll really be wonderful, especially if you value kind of a, a traditional Christmas Eve service. Tonight also is our live nativity. If you need the perfect picture for your Christmas card, if you'd like a picture with uh, you and your kids and camel, per se, maybe even a baby kangaroo who, who probably wasn't there at the birth of Jesus, but will be, might be there tonight, uh, 5.30, just come out to the uh, parking lot, 5.30 to 7.30, we would love for all of you to be there. Now, um, I'll open up, I would be glad to, Betsy, thanks, let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks and praise for the gift and the joy of this Christmas season. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will open our hearts that uh, we might be prepared to greet our King. He is the one who changes everything. He is uh, light into our darkness. We pray, O oh Lord, that we will welcome him and welcome the hope and peace and joy that he brings. Be and abide with us during this time, the sacred time that we have together. And help us always, Lord, to give you thanks and praise for the gift of young children, for their voices, for their smile, for their laughter. All these things and more, we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, kindergartners, are you ready? If you want to take your places. Sleeping. 
Shepherds were watching them. Suddenly, an angel came to the shepherd. The angel said, Do not be afraid. I am bringing you good news. Today in Bethlehem, God's son was born. You can go see him. He is wrapped warm and snug in a manger. Then many, many angels came from heaven. They praised God. Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth. When the angels left, the shepherd went to find the baby. He found the stable. He saw the new baby. The shepherd thanked God for his amazing gift. God put a special star in the sky when Jesus was born. Some wise men who lived in the east saw this star. They knew it was a sign. It meant that a baby king had been born. These wise men wanted to visit the baby, so they followed the star for a long way. The star led them to the right place where Jesus was. They bowed down and gave him gifts. Sweet-smelling gifts, sparkling golden gifts. They thanked God for sending the most special gift of all. Gardeners, what is the most special gift of all? Oh, Jesus, baby Jesus, right? Excellent job. All right, kindergartners, when parents, normally we have some musical pieces that go with this, and this year without singing in the sanctuary, our program's a little bit shorter, but Miss Porter and Miss McGarity have been working on a way to still share those with y'all, along with a link to this service for you to share with grandparents and whoever might like to see it. You'll also get some special music that goes with it. Um, but before we let you kind of take pictures and all, kindergartners, can you help us show parents? Well, first of all, I didn't see you still over there, Miss Cassie. Oh, pa this is our Pastor Cassie. This is our associate pastor. And if you don't mind just closing us in prayer, and then we'll close chapel and let some pictures be taken. All right. We are learning a prayer today about Christmas. And so I would invite everyone in the sanctuary to stand. We're all going to learn this prayer together. The kindergartners may be professionals at it by now. All right, there are four motions to know. The first is like this, hands up in a victory. Also, the hands that mean God. <laughs> this is the God hands. Then you have Jesus, which is taking your middle finger and hooking into each of your palms. Then you have celebration, which is dancing around. You do your best mom and dad dancing, grandparent dancing, yes. And the last, the last word we have is love, and that's crossing your hands over your heart. Okay, and so we're going to say the prayer together. Thank you, God, for your son, Jesus, as we celebrate his birth. May we love one another as Jesus loves us. Amen. All right, kindergartners, can you tell your parents what song is my favorite preschool song? What do we sing to close chapel and as we leave school each day? That's our welcome song. What's our go now in? Yeah. Go now in peace. So the words are go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. So Ms. Beth, if you don't mind playing that for us as we close chapel today. Kendrick. 
kindergartners, can we give you one more round of applause? I think you did a great job. And parents, what we thought we would do, because we know you want some pictures, we'll just kind of stagger up and allow Ms. Beth just play some Christmas music as we exit the sanctuary. If you want to snap a few pictures, and then we'll let you just slide out the back door. But thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy mornings to come see our precious children.